Real quick, yeah. we're hiring what we believe are some of the best people in the world at doing work, okay? When we invest money in people like that and time and effort and actually develop a personal relationship with them, what we generally find is they have qualities and abilities that we can apply in other jobs and plan. It's not very often at TMI that we have people who don't complete the training program. The truth of the matter is, working at a nuclear power plant requires very good people. If we get one, we don't want to lose them. And we're looking for them every day. Well, one quick question. Yes. You mean to tell me that before the TMI 2 accident, there wasn't proper training? Uh, uh, no, there was proper training. Uh, but like any evolving industry, things improve. So um, back then, um, some of the changes are that there were only one or two simulators in the whole country. So operators didn't have the amount of opportunity to train on a simulator. One of the new regulations that came out from the accident was that every nuclear plant had to have their own site-specific simulator. So you can see an improvement there. Or are there better safeguards now? Okay. Well, well, first, the design of the control room was revised so that the operators have more indications available to them. Let me give you one example. During the TMI-2 accident, they had a computer that were tracking important plant parameters. And at that time, that computer printed out the alarms. Unfortunately, the speed of the computer at that time was, you can imagine, incredibly slow. And alarms printed out literally almost several hours behind. Today, you can see that we have right here, this is the plant process computer, the one that you see the various conditions listed on in green. That shows you instantaneously any condition that could be occurring in the plant. And the event, a transient would occur, and I'm going to demonstrate one for you and, and, and just talk about it briefly. The operators always have to operate components in accordance with approved procedures verbatim compliance. So they have to launch off-site power and implement immediate interaction with COP1. Turn the reactor. Observed by this panel, the reactor is